Alright, today I'm going to show you how to uh, model a sword. Well, basically. I'm going to do it's from this video that I did a couple of days ago. But today I'm not going to show you like how to light and texture the scene. I'm just going to show you the basic modeling to do the sword. But if you want me to like show you how I textured and lit the scene, um, I'll post a second video sometime. Well, you need to upload Cinema 4D first. I'll leave my render settings in the description as well. Right, okay. I learnt the how to do a blade how to do the blade part of the sword from Project 4D's um sword tutorial. I put the handle was my stuff. Okay. So you want to go up to the spline tab thing here, hold down and get a, f a four side. Now you need to copy and paste this three times, right? Control C and then V three times. Bring one of them to the front and put A and B to one centimeter. So you won't be able to see it, but still can't. And then put another one further back. Now you need to go to the NURBS tab up here and select a loft NURBS. Put it in. And see now you kind of get a sort of blade tip. So you need to drag um, one of the back, four side back a bit so you got a bit more length. And I like to bring this one out a bit. So you got more of a point. This is a medieval sword, but I've used this technique to model quite a lot of other swords, but I didn't think they were that good, so I didn't upload them. Um, now, on the second one, I um, put down the B just a little bit, a couple, so it's a bit thinner at the point here. It's still quite thick, so select your loft nerves and go to the um, scale tool here and press shift and just make it a bit smaller and grab the red end and just push in a bit on your mouse and then you've got a nice thin blade so that's basically the blade we might edit that bit more in a second now you need to go back over to the spline tool and select rectangle I need to go to the rotate tool, hold shift to go from groups of fives and turn it to 90 degrees. Select the move tool, take it right up to the end of the blade. And then select the scale tool and um, put your mouse anywhere, hold shift and just drag down like that. Until it's quite small. You might want to change the um, width of it as well a little bit. About 30 there, that's about right. And now again, you need to copy and paste this three times. So Control C and then V twice. And this is going to be the um, hilt of the sword. So drag these out a bit. Now hold Control and um, click the other rectangle at the top here. And you need the scale tool again. You mouse anywhere and just shrink them down a bit. So just a bit smaller. You might have to get really close but then just drag these things out again and try to get them level. Now again go up to the nerves tool, select the loft nerves and put all these three in it. And then you get the sort of hilt that I had in this there. I did use um Grayscale Gorilla's texture kit to um, texture the sword, which I'm not too happy with, but you know. Okay, select this, and now I need to get a scale tool and hold the green one and just shrink it down a bit there. So you got the basic hilt. Now I'm going to do the handle. So select the cylinder, uh, 90 d degrees again, hold shift, come out, and just shrink it down. Now I'm going to go for like a hand and a half sort of sword, so we just need to just get it sort of right, sort of high. You can have a look and see what. Put the radius to about ten here, and the height to about 152. Now what you need to do is select both the loft nerves and cylinder, and just move them down so they're touching the sword again. Now, I've 
I made this bit thicker, I should put this to about 11 or 12. 12 is about good there. And I need to add more height. <coughs> oh, sorry, about choke there. Um, I need to put height segments up to about 10. And then I need to make it editable by the pressing C of this button up here. And then I need to select this tool, like the polygon tool. And go to selection, loop selection. And now go every other one about there. And I need to um, right click and go to extrude. And now just um, click anywhere, not on the sort of pref like handle outline. And just drag down a bit so you got that. But that doesn't look really much like this sort of handle up here. So you need to go to the nerves tool and put a hyper nerves on. And just put the cylinder in the hyper nerves. So now you've got this sort of handle but as in this row I put a uh, decoration here and so need, for this you need to select a sphere from the primitive tool thing and now from the polygon tool um, click back up to the triangle and the arrows are here and this will allow you to have this um, it selects the whole shape and allows you to change the size of the shape and just push that down from that little like um, square there and then just drag this to the top of the sword. Oh, by the way, if you didn't know, um, that will move your s screen that way. That will zoom in and out, and this will turn it. At the anchor point would be whatever you've selected. Now you might need to adjust this, make it a bit bigger or smaller. And now I recommend you put segments up to around about 50, I would say. Depends how good your computer is. Once quite good. Now you need to make this editable again. Select the polygon tool like we did for the handle. And go selection, loop selection again. Now I think what I did, um select I think that's what I did. select that I think and then and then go to extrude um right left right click again yeah. Grab a hypernerbs and put it in. So then, this is a bit different from that. Um, I think well, I'll try and get that the same. So I've made a bit of a mistake there. Right. Yes, fair. Just um, just press Control Z to go backwards. Um, but let's see. Um, uh, lower down. Um, now I need to do selection, loop selection again. Sorry about that. Um, I do every other one for a bit about this sort of thing and just extrude it down a bit and then grab the hypernerbs and put the sphere into the hypernerbs so now you've got this, it's a bit different from what I did but I can't really remember how I did that now so you got the sword but you don't like, I really don't like these sort of square ends here so go back from the polygon tool and select the triangle again and the move tool at the top I need to go to primitive object, select a sphere. Go, I can't say sphere, by the way, if you're no, listening. Right, I just need to line this up with the sword. Might need to make it a bit big. I'll say that's about right. And then just you know swivel around so you see it from all angles and stuff. Now I need to go to like copy this again and drag it over to the other side. And now you've got oh that's a bit off. Cause it was the other one? I think I moved this one off a bit. And then you've got your sword. But also I think what I did I added an extra bit here. Put some rings around here as well and. Put a cross up there. You don't really have to put a cross. I just was stuck to what to put. Um, for the um, extra metal here, um, you need to get a four side again. Um, this is going to be a bit. Now I need to line it up and get this, go to the scale tool again up here and just scale down until it's just a bit bigger. Then so, but not as big. And I copy this again, move this down a bit, 
wherever you want the extra metal to go. Um, and then just grab a lot of nerves. Oh, I haven't copied and pasted it. And put both of them in. Now you've got the extra bit of metal, but I think I've got to move this up a bit. And then, got that in mind, I need to change a bit. Just drag the form down a bit. And uh, then this is about it. Um, let's see how long. Um, the rings, these were made. Um, I use these using sweet nerves. I have. Right. If you want to have the rings in it, you don't really have to. Um, like this sort of thing here. I just put them out and nothing else put there. You need to rotate this handle um, 90 degrees. Wait, well, 180 actually. No, wait. Oh, stupid. Right. Oh, okay. Stop that again. I right, just rotate it 180 degrees and drag it up to where you had it. And now you've got this um sort of lang bit here where you don't have any um indents. So now you need to go to spline tool, select a circle drag over to where you want it and just tone down the radius quite a bit to about 13 there that's about right and now you need to get another circle spline and just put the radius as 1 and then get sweet nerves sweep nerves and put them both in and then you'll get a little ring here you might want to move that up and I had two of these so you can just copy and paste that and then you'll have two They all must be close together. Um, that's about it for the modelling. Um, obviously, you can just add a floor and stuff in and get your basic light scene going. It's not too difficult to do this sort of thing. Uh, you can put whatever decoration you want here. Um, even just put a uh, try some in here. Um, oh, if you want any of the tutorials on anything that I've done or you want me to try something then just message me or comment below and I'll try and do one for you I mean it might even just be like a simple tutorial like what your render settings um, how to do a good like use photoshop as well um, write out so if you want photoshop tutorials I could manage that after effects and Sony Vegas I'm not as good at so if you want that sort of thing I might be able to do it depends what you want from it so there I just put a little um, platonic object it's a bit like a uh, jeweled hilt and stuff like that that's about it um, render settings and stuff will be below if you want anything else just post a comment